I'm Natalia Bonner. It's day 224. Today we're going to be stitching using my inside out machine quilting ruler. Now I've had a few of you ask, so I'll just mention it again. I'm stitching here on a pre-printed digital panel. Now you can pick up this panel through honestfabric.com. They're a separate company, but I they're printing these panels for us and you can pick those up over there. This is a custom pre-printed panel. It's a digital panel, so they take a little bit longer, but they're really, really great panels. And obviously you can see they quilt out beautifully. Today is actually the very last day that we're stitching on our fourth panel. Crazy that we've worked so far through all these blocks. Tomorrow we'll start a brand new panel. So if you haven't ordered one yet from Honest Fabric, make sure you do check those out. But in the meantime, let's get stitching. I'll start out by using my blue Mark Be Gone marker and marking a nine patch through the center of my block. After I've done that, on the center block that I've drawn, I'm going to mark the center on each of the four sides of that block. From there, I'm ready to begin stitching. I'll start stitching at the bottom left marked point. From there, I'll stitch a straight line, angular line, from the outside up to the center marked point. From the center marked point, I'll adjust my ruler and stitch back to the outside. Then I'll travel up my marked line to the center where I'll adjust my ruler and move on to the opposite side. I'll repeat this on the right side of the block and also the top of the block. But you see here, as I finish the top of the block, then I traveled down and stitched along my marked line a square in the center of the block. After I've stitched that square, then I'll travel back to the left side of the block where I'm going to stitch one more of those triangle designs and then continue on by completing the bottom outline design on this block. After I've done that, I'm going to start filling in each of those triangles that I've created on the outside of the block with those heavy back and forth straight line matchstick quilting lines. You can see here as I stitch out those matchstick lines, I like to keep the spacing between my lines probably about an eighth of an inch or less. So I'm using the side of my inside out machine quilting ruler to act as just a guide to help me keep my lines nice and straight and pretty evenly spaced apart. I'll fill in each of the four sides of the block with those matchstick lines. Then I'll complete this design by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of the block, then misting away those marked lines. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow. Thank you.